functional check of insulation resistance of pitot probe on Airbus A320. Quick little review for the beginners, what is Pitot Probe? It is externally sensing probe which senses the total air pressure of ram air for computation of air speed, max speed, max number etc. It comes under ATA chapter 34 navigation. Why is it heated and how? It is heated for prevention of the ice formation which may obstruct the inlet leading to wrong data calculation. It comes under chapter 30 ice and rain protection only the heating part of Pitot. In 320, it is heated electrically by 115V AC 400Hz. Insulation is bad conductor barrier between the heating element and the pitot body. This can be damaged or break down due to regular heating leading to the short or leak of current and improper heating. So today we will be checking the resistance of this insulation with insulation tester or MAGO. Before we do the test, there are some cautions and warning which has to be followed as per the AMM like Pitot Probe's cover has to be removed, the condition of the electrical connector and all necessary safety precaution while usage of the MAGA because we will be using 500 volt DC. So during the test, please do not touch the pin or else. On overhead panel 25 view, make sure that the probe window heat switch is in released position that is auto position. The reason I will mention you in the full description at the end of the video. And the AMM says on legend should be off. So it is quite confusing. Just make sure that the on legend is not visible. Next we will be pulling out the circuit breaker. The reason is for isolating the electrical power from the electrical circuit. This is a safety measure. So they have given us the panel designation, fin number and location. For pitot number 1, it's on 49 view which is overhead panel, location is delta 02. So just find out the correct NDI's probe pitot number 1, delta 02. For pitot number 2, it's behind the first officer 122 view, the location is Yankee 1414. So just make sure that you're pulling the right CB. For pitot number 3, it's on same panel, Zulu 16. So here's the location for pitot number 1 and 3 which is on the left side of the nose, access door for removing the connection. And this is the location for number 2 pitot and the access door. So figure from AMM, we will remove electrical connector first. So this is the procedure, first we will be connecting our tester with pin bravo and probe case that is grounding. Then we will be giving 500 volt DC for 2 minutes, the resistance should be more than 100 mega ohms. If it is less, we have to replace the probe, that means the insulation is bad. If it is more than 100 mega ohms, we will be doing same with pin number Charlie and probe case. So just remember, you don't have to connect pin Bravo and Charlie together, first Bravo and ground, then Charlie and ground. So I will show you number 2 first, first officer pitot, which is on right side of nose, this is the axis. We will disconnect electrical connector first. Just check the condition of the receptacle. Also condition of the plug. So check out the location of the keyway. With that we can locate all the pins. It is also mentioned on the receptacle as well as on plug. So as per the procedure I will connect negative lead of insulation tester on the body of the pitot on mounting stud. As there was little paint on it, I scratched little paint and connected our negative lid. For checking proper connection, I will be doing a resistance check between this body stud and uh, pin number alpha because as per diagram I know that alpha is grounding. So I have connected pin A with the positive lid and I will be putting my mega on ohmic range for continuity test. I will press and hold the test button and I got 0 0.01. So I'll switch it off, I'll remove pin from A and I'll put it on B. Now I will put the range on 500 volt DC for measuring the insulation resistance. So grounding and pin B is connected now with the insulation tester. I'll be putting on 500 volt DC. We have to push and hold the test button 
for whole duration okay you should not leave the test button in this type of mega so i'm getting 2.9 giga ohms of resistance that is far more than 100 mega ohms so we'll continue this for two minutes and if the condition of the insulation is bad we will get less resistance that is less than 100 mega ohms so we'll replace the pitot probe in that condition so two minutes is over i'll be leaving the test switch we'll switch off it before we disconnect so now I will be removing it from pin number Bravo and I will be connecting it to pin number Charlie. Just make sure that you are connecting on the correct pin. So it's on pin number Charlie now. I will be doing same thing again. I will be putting it on 500 volt DC and I will be pressing the test switch and holding it for 2 minutes. So right now we are getting 13 giga ohms. So after 2 minutes, I will be leaving the switch, I will switch off the mango and let us disconnect everything then check the condition of the plug and connect the plug. So our pin Bravo, pin Charlie, both insulation resistance was ok. So number 2 pitot is clear. So we will be repeating same steps for pitot number 1 and 3 but with different insulation tester. So now we are doing for pitot number 3, we have already done the preparation. The negative lead is connected to the pitot body that is stud and positive lead is connected to pin bravo. We are using here is fluke insulation tester 1507. So we will put it on 500 volt DC, press and hold the test switch and then later press the lock key until we get the lock symbol. So once we get the lock symbol you can release the test switch no need to hold it for whole duration. So right now the test is going on. Supply voltage is 526 volt DC and the reading is 550 mega ohms. The lock key shows that this test is still going on it is locked on this condition. For releasing it from the lock condition you have to press the test switch again. So I will show you again. You have to press and hold the test switch. Click on the lock key until you get the lock symbol and then you can release the test. So we'll wait for the 2 minutes for pin number bravo and then we can switch off and jump over to pin number charlie. So 2 minutes is over, I'll switch off the mega, I will disconnect and do same thing with pin number charlie. Same thing has to be done for pitot number 1. We will normalize all 3 pitot CB which we pulled before and then we will do the bite test as per the procedure. Make sure that the ADU is in NAV position. On MCDU, click on CFDS, System Report and Test, and then go to ATA Chapter Eyes and Train Protection Chapter 30, then PHC number 1, and then we can do the test. Same thing has to be repeated for PHC number 2 and PHC number 3. If you like the video please hit the like button, share it with everybody and do subscribe our channel. Description about probe window heat switch. It has got two position, auto position and on position. The normal position is auto position which is released out. So there will be no indication of light, in Airbus terminology on legend should be off. In auto position, the probes and windows are heated automatically when aircraft is in flight. Or else, when aircraft is on ground, provided that one engine is running, it will be heating on low heat as compared to in flight. Other position is on position which is depressed in position when we push the switch in. During this position, the probes and windows are heated permanently irrespective of aircraft position. When in on position, the blue legend of on will be visible on the switch. That is why during the test, the AMM states to check the position of the switch should be in auto position so that the power is not supplied to the heater element. 